next guest, we have Mr. Omkar Hirlikar, the whole time director at Omkar Speci Speciality, to join in about a particular piece of news yesterday where they have filed an application for a patent to make the intermediate for a particular hepatitis C drug. Uh, so, Mr. Hirlikar, can you, or Dr. Hirlikar, can you just explain to us what sort of opportunity does that present to you? Well, uh, uh, this is a new latest drug for treating hepatitis C, and uh, the hepatitis C is supposed to be treated by this drug in 12 weeks' time. Hepatitis C is the biggest killer uh, nowadays and didn't have the therapy uh, as on yet, you know. But by the introduction of some new drugs by uh, Gilead Life Sciences, which is an American company, mm. uh, hepatitis C is finding hopes uh, to get cured. And we are making an intermediate for this drug. We are not making the drug by itself. But it is a very exclusive intermediate. We have, uh, you know, crafted a process patent for this, which will make this intermediate at a very co cost competitive uh, what price. What is the name of the hepatitis C drug? Uh, the name of the hepatitis C drug is Lidipasvir. Okay. Lady Passwir, yeah. And you, what, what have you got right now? Have you got a patent for it or a process have, patent? For we it? have got a process patent for. Uh, we have filed a process patent for making the intermediate for this lady. lady to the Indian Passwir. Drug Authority. Definitely, it is in the Indian Drug Authority. And when do you expect the approval or confirmation? Usually it takes around, see, uh, I get the right of exclusivity from the day one because uh, my invention is, you know, being... Uh, no, but you haven't got the approval yet. You are it takes fine for it. Yeah, definitely. But I can, I, I still have the uh, privilege to enjoy the exclusivity of this drug, this, this thing. Only, uh, you know, uh, once I get the patent granted, which takes around one and a half to two years in the case of Indian Patent Office. Hmm. So once the patent is approved, then I get more exclusivity over, you know, uh, the pe pe uh, filed patent. But from the date of filing, my exclusivity, uh, my the right, my right to, you know, harvest the patent starts. Okay. Okay. Fair at enough. the moment, you are manufacturing the API anyway. Definitely, we are manufacturing, not the API. Uh, no. We are manufacturing the okay. intermediate for that. Okay. Yeah. okay. There's this particular drug, albendazol, which is uh, basically used, I think, for deworming. Okay. And you all are, I think, one of the key players in the G drug. Great, great. We are the key, key, uh, key players in veterinary APIs. Okay. Uh, uh, both are different things. We, we have two verticals basically. One vertical is intermediate and other vertical is APIs. So API vertical consists of veterinary APIs which are used for deworming and the other vertical which is the intermediate where we supply intermediate to Indian MNCs like uh, you know Sipla, Dr. Eddie, Hetero and all these people. So uh, the, the, the patent which is currently you know we have filed is for the intermediate which we will be supplying to these people okay. and they will be making the drug out of it. Okay. Your uh, quarterly revenue in fourth quarter was 74 crores. Okay. How much of this came from this uh, intermediate for hepatitis? Uh, exactly. Uh, see, this uh, uh, revenue from this particular uh, drug is supposed to come from uh, the second quarter of FI16. Okay. Not from, uh, it is a new drug, it okay. was in, uh, in the very launch stage. So we have given some trial quantities to all these Indian MNCs and the product is approved with them. Do okay. you have any US FDA applications or plans for the US? Uh, definitely not because veterinary API market is basically a non-regulated market and it goes into all the developing countries like, you know, mm -hmm. Brazil, Turkey and all. Okay. So veterinary APIs, the formulations goes to US. Okay, by basically. the end of this year, FI16, yeah. right, right. how much will this drug contribute? To your revenue? Uh, see, uh, we are uh, planning somewhere in, uh, in uh, I, I'll be able to tell you in FY17, my FY17 nearly 20%, 15 to 20% of the top line will be contributed by this. Uh, uh, that is this, assuming you get patent. I'll definitely get patent. Okay, no, no, I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this okay. is assuming that you get the patent. Definitely, yes. Okay. Definitely. And what is the revenue growth you expect in FI16 and FI17? Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, I'll definitely like to say that we'll outperform the market. Okay. Uh, speaking in figures is very difficult, but whatever market, you know, currently veterinary API market is, you know, growing at a rate of 25%. So we'll outperform the market. Okay, fair enough, sir. We leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and talking to us.